All righty. Good morning, everyone. My name is Dustin Sikiak. I'm with One Source Associates. We are the area rep for uh, Legrand um, and Pass and Seymour. Uh, with me today, I have Dave. Uh, Dave is uh, the in furniture uh, product manager. Is that correct, Dave? I, I'm actually the national account manager. Yeah. Oh, so I can, yeah. <laughs> it's sorry, not to, not, yeah, not done today. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Dave's going to lead the presentation. Uh, I'm the the guy in the area, so if you have any questions, want to see any samples, feel free to reach out to me uh, after the meeting, and I'm happy to you know, go to Baltimore, or DC, to to drop off some samples for you guys and uh, talk more about the products. But Dave, I'll pass it off to you. Awesome, and thanks uh, thanks to the team from MLI, and thanks for Becky to for uh, setting this up. Just a quick bio on myself. I, I do work directly for Legrand, and we'll take you through a little bit of a journey on uh, what Legrand is as a brand and what Legrand is uh, globally as a product manufacturer. Uh, my role, and, and Dustin uh, hit on it a little bit, is is yes on the product side, but uh, probably more specific to your business. Uh, I am the uh, national account manager for your space. And I'm also the contact for uh, anybody that does OEM uh, sales with us. I am physically uh, located in my office in Michigan, so I'm right in the middle of the, the country. I've, I've got 28 years with the business, so I've uh, spent a little bit of time uh, in, a, in a variety of different capacities. But uh, mo most recently, and really for most of uh, the latter part of my career uh, in the in the commercial space, you know, with manufacturers and, and obviously based on where I'm at, uh, of course, know uh, some of the larger uh, players in the, in the marketplace. Um, probably I uh, want to make it very clear that before we start, you know, let's let's make this interactive. Uh, this isn't really so much a product presentation. We will go over some things, some innovative things we're doing in your space. Uh, but really what we're trying to accomplish today, you know, in, in Dustin, you know, at one of our, you know, really top firms uh, in the country um, has has helped us to uh, frame up really an interview, so to speak, with your business to see whether or not there's a fit and whether or not we, we can partner moving forward. So uh, let's think about it that way. Uh, of course, we're a brand that's globally recognized, but uh, from the standpoint of your business, you know, we're really getting to know each other today and we want to see whether or not with our accessory or ancillary category, you know whether or not there's a fit. So, without further ado, I'll uh, I'll dive into some of the uh, information about Legrand. So, Legrand is a, a global business. Uh, if if you uh, are not familiar with, uh, and let me ask real quick, Dustin, you can see this, okay? Yes, I can. Okay, great. Uh, we're we're a global business. We are actually based in uh, France. Uh, I am actually part of the uh, U.S. business or the North American business, which is in uh, Connecticut, West Hartford, Connecticut. And uh, obviously, the numbers kind of speak for themselves. So we are really uh, in in every country around the planet. And our our you know main business is you know anything power, data, and light. You know, as uh, Dustin mentioned earlier, he mentioned just one of our brands. Uh, that brand is a brand that's uh, really uh, synonymous with with anywhere to plug into. Uh, it's a it's a wiring device, a, a product line, and really where we you know really uh, uh, um, are well seated in the marketplace. Uh, from a wiring de uh, device standpoint, I uh, think you'll find, and you know whether this is uh, residentially speaking or even commercially speaking. Probably once uh, every four times that you have an outlet in the wall, it probably is a, a Legrand device uh, across our planet. Uh, as you can see, uh, where our revenue position is, uh, where our where our market share is, but really from a manufacturing standpoint, uh, we really uh, are in in most of the places around the world and and manufacture really anything to do with power, uh, data, and light. Uh, some of our divisions and the division that uh, Dustin and I are are very focused on would be our electrical wiring systems uh, uh, division, which is top left. You know some of the product lines that uh, by name that you may or may not be familiar with uh, would be you know items like Pass and Seymour, which uh, Dustin mentioned, and they've represented uh, for us for a long, long time. A, a new entree to the space uh, is ConnectTrack. Uh, really just had some synergies there and a good fit into our uh, equation. Uh, items like wire mold, uh, 
you know, Nuvo for controls and uh, audio systems, uh, Cablefill for uh, wire management and anything uh, to manage cables throughout a space, and then Luxel, which is really a leading leading uh, wireless uh, uh, brand. Uh, some of the other divisions, you know, again, may or may not play into your space, you know, building controls, you know, with, with dimmer systems, shading systems, uh, commercial AV, uh, some of the some of the folks in the dealer world uh, interact with our chief brand or middle Atlantic brand, maybe even our 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 uh, screen brand with daylight. And then, uh, of course, some of the other spaces would be, you know, data products, lighting uh, related products, which we know uh, the dealer world participates in. And then finally, anything really data center related. We probably like you uh, have uh, team members and uh, global account managers that call on really most of the global uh, clients around the not only the country but around the world you know focused on uh, particular verticals the spaces where they exist and then obviously where our product uh, fits uh, we really have a, a representation structure that is very focused on uh, the client and the specification of a product you know from a technical standpoint whether it be code a uh, listing you know product application and then also a, a team of individuals that professionally handle us uh, at the channel. And of course, that's what Dustin and OneSource uh, in your marketplace does. You know, obviously working closely with you with contracts, you know, products, product proposals uh, and things of that nature. Uh, we are uh, really from a from a product standpoint uh, in most parts of uh, the building, uh, really delivering power where you need it, uh, you know, whether that's in the perimeter of the space, uh, very, very uh, uh, popular now, the outdoor space says, uh, open spaces. So, you know, in the floor, uh, through the floor, uh, depending on uh, where it's at in the building. And now, uh, which we're really excited to kind of introduce to you and continue to stay focused on is, is in furniture. Uh, obviously, with all the challenges we've had for the last uh, year plus, and the changing landscape of the uh, the office, you know, we've really had to, to listen and adjust. And of course, with, you know, the ever changing uh, design of a space and then, of course, still meeting code, uh, continue to adjust and, and uh, pivot with our products and make sure that we're doing what the clients need. So why on earth would you talk to us? You know, of course, we're here to talk to you a little bit about you know, how you currently make choices about ancillary items, you know, what what and how you integrate them into your proposals. You know, and we know and obviously in some cases you just use what comes along with your your mainline brands, uh, but you'd like to have a choice. You like to have a choice in some particular cases uh, with the with the long list of different uh, furniture lines that you represent to maybe add something in that's unique, uh, something that might fit your client, uh, something that the client has asked for. And, you know, hopefully, you know, find a way to work with us to, you know, increase your your bottom line and your profitability and do that uh, along with uh, Dustin and OneSource's help. Uh, the, the, from a product standpoint, a uh, pretty bright, a broad array, you know, coming from a manufacturer that invented something like uh, the GFCI uh, outlet that you normally see in a in a restroom or a, or a space that needs to be uh, uh, controlled by some kind of a breaker or some type of an on off device. You know, we really have developed a, a wide array of products that are in the walls or in building construction uh, and have kind of taken a lot of that innovation and technology and manufacturing uh, capital and brought it out into the space. So whether it's in a social and dining space, you know, at the workstation, in, in a variety of different uh, uh, positions, in in the in lounge and waiting areas, uh, in huddle spaces, trying to provide you a solution to provide to your client, where really they're never going to throw something at you where you can't put an outlet. Uh, as you well know, uh, you do this professionally every day. People people want to put power everywhere, and they want to put it out there safely. And uh, you need a partner to partner to do that. Another reason to partner with Legrand, and uh, we, we alluded to this earlier in the manufacturing slide, uh, we're really making everything you see 
in all these products. So whether it's the, 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 the blades of the device, the opening for the outlet, the opening for the USB, the opening for any of the data connectors, we're manufacturing those. So by, by being the source of manufacturing, we're also giving you the confidence that we've tested it. So when your client asks you about spill water ratings, spill water tests, uh, whether or not the USBs have been tested uh, and cycle tested, I mean, we've all been frustrated with the USB maybe in a transient space or in an airport where you plug in your cable and it falls out. Um, you know, you can rest assured that we've we've tested that and tested it uh, to, to some pretty extreme levels to make sure that uh, the product is confident. Um, tamper resistant outlets and and even the new uh, emerging or continuing to emerge USB-C where your clients are going to continue to push you to make sure that that product or that space in the device is performing uh, to a level of power to meet the high demands of a lot of the technology uh, in this space. And, and I know it's a small thing, but uh, of course, with the many, many products that are out there in the marketplace that you're choosing or recommending to your client, um, some of them aren't actually UL listed. Some of them aren't, aren't ETL listed. Uh, Legrand continues to not only keep their products competitive, but we're continuing to spend the money uh, for those uh, listings to uh, give you some, some assurance for your client that it's going to be safe uh, time and time again. Here's a little video on some of the things we're doing from a marketing standpoint um, to draw interest to the brand and to the category. So I'll show this real quick. So again, uh, and and th this would be another resource that that Dustin would support you with uh, from a marketing perspective. Uh, we're doing a lot of uh, advertising, like like most brands are, you know, with the various different social mediums. So again, by 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 partnership there, you know, full access to our product team and our product management team, um, you know, by way of Dustin to to do some of those things. D Dustin, so far as there are any questions. I have not seen anything, any questions pop into the chat function, so looks like we're going well, but. OK, OK, great, great. So uh, continuing on and, and really just some some items to uh, tweak some interest and show what we're doing from a product uh, innovation and development standpoint. Uh, brand new system, uh, it's 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 existed uh, with uh, other. Furniture power units, but we've added a category or enhance the category, quite frankly. Uh, we learned a lot over the last year. Uh, we obviously have listened to uh, folks like yourself about the ever-changing space, uh, the challenges with the space, the distancing of furniture and employees from each other. And as a, as a consequence to that, had to kind of push the system to be more flexible and have uh some some operating characteristics that you know make it appealing uh to your client uh so we're calling it the new mod power system uh 
probably more recognizable as a as a tag or something that you would call it in your space is a daisy chainable power system or a modular power system. Uh, we've really we've really launched it and relaunched it with a couple of simple uh, ads. Uh, it's it's a it's a three part system, so we make it really easy to choose part numbers and to design in. I know we're probably working with mostly designers today, so you know complexity is is obviously a turn off. So we're trying to make this a lot easier to pick and choose as you're you're adding it to your your proposals. Uh, it, it's it's uh, as a system uh, you can chain this together with up to six units. It can be installed in the surface. We've also made it very easy with just a simple uh, trim bracket to mount it um, um, on the surface or in cut into the, the surface. So really, really appealing uh, as, you're, as you're putting together a system and you need something that you can with confidence, you know, lay out and know that it's going to um, meet those those local requirements. Really, really anywhere in the in the country uh, where you're going to be designing this. Uh, it's got a uh, really a three part system. It's got a primary unit, a secondary unit and then an end unit. And uh, uh, in the next uh, 30 days, we've even added uh, and enhanced uh, just a kit of jumpers uh, for those those uh, times where you would need to move the desks a little bit further apart or you know work with the uh, wire management uh, configuration or challenge that might need that. Uh, each each unit comes with uh, clips. Because, uh, of course, uh, from a design standpoint, once you put this in, uh, you wouldn't want to see all the cords hanging like they are in the picture. So really have thought of most uh, all of that to uh, make the design of this in the final product uh, very nice. The uh, system, as I mentioned, has multiple uh, mounting options. So if it's in a really uh, typical conference room, uh, it could mount to the back. It could mount facing up on the back of the space. And uh, if if desired uh, and to have less clutter up on the space, even mount with a with a standard bracket on the underside. Uh, just a factoid as far as what comes in the box, we've made it much easier. Uh, we've actually put the different bracket configurations in the box. So now when your install team or even your, your client uh, has to make a change to this, uh, it's really just a matter of just grabbing a different uh, mounting bracket position and mounting it uh, accordingly. Um, really can be mounted with a with a clamp or even some basic construction wood screws uh, to to add to really virtually any of the different uh, systems you have uh, in place. I, I mentioned uh, earlier about being the manufacturer so we can test this. Uh, one of the things that was part of the uh, UL requirement, uh, it was actually an enhanced UL requirement, UL 962A, is that the product must be spill water compliant. So we've got uh, plenty of information. Dustin can provide that to you. It's not only uh, documentation, but even video content to uh, show what we've done to test the unit. So if it were to uh, be subjected to a basic coffee spill or even a water spill with a little more volume, it uh, fully passes that fully, fully FCC compliant. Uh, we've circuit, we put a circuit breaker in it. Uh, very, very indiscreet, uh, but as part of the requirement, the UL 962A supplement, it actually has a circuit breaker at the individual location. Uh, we went out to the marketplace and we listened to how some of the other brands do it, and some of the other brands actually did it at the final point of plug. Uh, they basically had a transformer at the beginning and circuit broke it there. Uh, the only downside we heard from a, a variety of different clients um, was that that then turned the entire system off. So if you had six of these, you know, tied together in a conference room or across, you know, some sit to stands, you know, everybody was off. And of course, uh, that could be very inconvenient. Uh, now with the circuit breaker in, in, integrated into each individual unit, if something were to occur at that location or at that that user, uh, that unit is off, and then it's basically a push button reset, and they're back on. Pretty, pretty system, uh, pretty simple system layout. Uh, it's, it's, it is modular, as I mentioned. Uh, it's really just a matter of, you know, starting out with a primary unit that has a 10, 10 foot cord to plug into the wall, into a floor box, into a, a poke through through the floor, into a connect track, 
really anywhere you can gain access to uh, branch circuit wiring and then add, as I mentioned, up to six units. And then uh, by way of the UL listing, uh, up to 50 feet. So those are just a couple of simple numbers to rem uh, remember. You know, if you can if you can set this up where you can get six six people or six modular units together and keep it within 50 feet, which is pretty practical uh, in most cases, if you've got a building that doesn't have a lot of power outlets to plug into, uh, we feel like that's uh, that's a pretty pretty solid design for these different types of spaces. So that's mod power. Uh, I don't know, Dustin, is there any questions on mod power so far? Otherwise, we'll keep plugging along here. Let's let's keep the train rolling. OK, OK, and I think we've got till 1215, right? Correct. OK, great, great. So uh, that's mod power. Uh, uh, some other items uh, just just to make them aware of you. Uh, some of you may be aware of this, but uh, uh, desktop power, uh, another product that's uh, you know, a fighting competing product in the space. Uh, this would be a single single point of use unit. Uh, could have two outlets, could have three outlets. It does have a, a different option of having two USB A's, uh, but it could also have a USB A and a USB C. Uh, probably the highest velocity items would be a black unit or, uh, or a white unit. Uh, comes standard with a, a six foot cord. Uh, it also does have what we call a pass through cord or a plug. Uh, that's not so you can plug other desktop power units into it. It's so you can put a desk lamp or something into it. So you're not using up the full plug capacity uh, within the building. So again, that's our desktop power system. You can see uh, in the picture again, comes out of the box with a variety of different mounting applications and places to mount it. So a pretty, pretty flexible solution for you to specify. On that same uh, on that same uh, category, uh, we've also added, and you saw it in the video, a, a round furniture power uh, solution. Again, with a variety of different uh, face configurations, uh, all tamper resistant uh, outlets, uh, USB A, USB A, USB C. Uh, the item on the left is actually designed to just drop into a standard regular hole that we find a lot of times in desk surfaces. It's got a very simple cam lock spin clamp that goes from underneath, makes it really easy to install uh, for your install team. And again, it does come with uh, a variety of different uh, ports. Uh, this this unit actually has a couple of different cord lengths, a uh, six foot and a ten foot, because uh, we know sometimes if they uh, if your clients decide to embed this into furniture, uh, which they do, it may be a little bit longer path to uh, get to an outlet. So not everybody wants uh, something round. They may want to do something rectangular. Uh, this works the very same way, uh, other than it just mounts a little bit differently. Uh, you can cut this into a surface. We know a lot of uh, dealers have uh, departments where you can respond to a custom installation or uh, something where you're building a custom piece of casework or a, a walk up uh, entertainment space or even reception space. You'd like to be able to add this in. Uh, again, this has the same device configurations, the same listings on those devices. However, in this particular case, this actually cuts into a surface. Uh, it works kind of like uh, for those who uh, do some work weekend warrior projects, it works like a remodel box, an electrical remodel box, where it's got a couple of tabs with a couple of screws that lock it into the space and make it for a nice uh, clean uh, installation. A uh, variety of different colors, uh, black, white, and nickel are usually the, the most asked for, and again, uh, very competitive in the space. Uh, another thing we mentioned in the video uh, is a pop-up unit. Pop-up units, as, as you well know, you're probably specifying them every day, have become uh, hugely popular as well. In some cases, from a design standpoint, you'd like it to go away. Uh, this unit is available in a, in a matte black or a technology black or in a stainless steel. And we are literally integrating in um, our, our many, many uh, different wiring devices right into it. So it's a standard receptacle that most of your clients in the rest of their building would specify. So this kind of gives you a competitive advantage if you're talking to the client because you can say to them what the same devices you specify in the wall would be in this, uh, this pop-up unit. Another product, uh, of course, this has been popular. It's, it's uh, quite frankly, it's, 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 it's still uh, 
a design element. Uh, we find that it's becoming probably less used for some of the uh, technology, you know, maybe the AV technology, the network connection technology, uh, but still very much used for the power aspect of it, uh, only because a lot of uh, uh, AV technology is just very simply uh, mirrored to the device or wirelessly mirrored to the device. Uh, but this still makes things uh, go away, you know, down into the table. Uh, we've also got some retractor cables that mount with this, like some of the other brands that are in the space. And again, that would be part of the line and some of the focus products that uh, would be part of our partnership. And then finally, uh, from an electrical standpoint, um, and again, as I mentioned, with the many, many products uh, across, our, across our line, you know, items that might be uh, desirable, you know, from your standpoint to uh, craft into the space. We know that some of the folks uh, in your world are, are doing some of this on the installation side, and we've really focused on some specific items that have power, that have USB power, variety of different colors to uh, make those fit into those spaces, but also give you a, a sellable uh, product to compete with that might normally come, you know, only from, from an electrician. So making that part of the the category as well. So D Dustin and I are happy to answer questions. Uh, we've actually put together and Dustin's got some supporting collateral that he can send to Becky that can be distributed to the team. We've got some really just razor focused products that over over time and working with you know other folks in your space that are part of that uh, portfolio. Uh, of course, we make many many electrical products, many control products, you know, things that, you know, we wouldn't expect uh, you would spend a lot of time on, but these products are all very focused to your space as a uh, resellable product or a product you'd integrate into furniture. And we'd really like to at least provide those to you to see whether or not there would be interest to, uh, to partner with Legrand. So with that, uh, Dustin, I don't know if there's any questions, if there's any comments, if there's any uh, uh, feedback uh, from a Legrand standpoint, but if so, uh, we're happy to uh, happy to field those. Thank you very much, Jeff. Or sorry, Dave. Sorry, I was looking at the comments. Uh, thanks, Dave. Uh, there's there's no comments in the uh, in the chat box yet, but uh, anyone out there that wants to uh, unmute themselves, please. Um, Please go ahead and uh, feel free to um, ask away. I don't have any questions, but I do want to say thank you. This is really good. This is a good update. I didn't even know they could do all these, so this is fantastic. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff, are you a designer? Yeah, but I'm doing a uh, and liaison right now for MOI, so I talk oh, to all. Okay. My Fantastic, fantastic. And thank you for sending the, the presentation because I already downloaded it to my iPad. This is good. Perfect, and uh, when I get a chance, uh, I'm gonna, once I get the video together, I'll send out uh, links to all the cut sheets for the products that uh, Dave went over today. And then I can also stop by the office and bring by samples or I can drop off um, brochures, physical, you know, hard copy brochures for y'all to take a look at. Perfect. Right, I gotta go. Thanks, guys, so much. This is really, really good. Thanks. Thank Appreciate you. your time, Jeff. And and for the rest of the group, I know most of you are probably design professionals. Uh, again, just a quick uh, public service announcement. We we also, uh, in addition to uh, the training today, uh, we we have uh, some uh, CEU presentations. So if anybody needs an IDCEC uh, credit, uh, we also have a full AIA presentation. Uh, those are available as well uh, for those who might want to you know add to their credit uh, content and uh, you know should we should we consummate a relationship that's something else that uh, Dustin can can provide to you definitely I will go ahead and stop the recording now Dave